Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diamond and you're watching a writing vlog. So first of all, today is November 1st. Happy NaNoWriMo. I'm so excited. This will be my first time participating in NaNoWriMo and it is the first draft or the zero draft of my very first book. So it's just a lot of first happening and I'm super excited. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about where I left off what I've been doing and my plans for NaNoWriMo. Okay, so a little bit about the work in progress. It's called Project September, uh, Secondary World, High Fantasy, written from the villain's perspective. And the last time I updated you guys, I was world building. I was deep in world building. I was creating the cultural identities of the realms, right? Uh, that was over two months ago because on September 1st, I broke my ankle. And when I say broke my ankle, I mean I literally broke the bone, I had to have surgery, and I've been on bed rest for the past two months. I'm going to put some, some pictures on the screen, but yes, I randomly just fell in my house. Look, I don't know, I randomly just fell one night and I thought I just twisted it, but the next, I went to bed and the next morning I could not put pressure on it. Um, and then I ended up having to have surgery, so that was great. I have a plate and seven screws in my ankle now, and I'm now trying to learn how to walk again. Not that I forgot, but it's just a little painful, and, and I still have to walk with a crutch, which I have right here. So I think, one, breaking my foot was not the best experience, and it did throw off my my schedule for making videos because there was there was no vlogging you know i was just in bed and that was really boring but i will say that being on bed rest allowed me to literally finish world building i was a little afraid that i wasn't going to be able to finish it back in august when i started in order to start nanowrimo now because you know with work and walking around and doing a bunch of stuff it's just a little hard to fit things in but i wasn't allowed to walk i wasn't able to walk so yeah that was the silver lining i really was just in bed creating my world every day um so that was great okay so now that you know all the perils that i have been through the last two months we are currently current in november 1st NaNoWriMo and yeah I'm super excited to get started. I'm jittery and nervous um, because we're, we're starting. Now, I will say that my goals for NaNoWriMo, um, it's not necessarily like to write 50,000 words, like half of the book. It, Project September is a, like I said, a high fantasy book. So it, it's aiming to be around 100,000 words. So I'm not aiming to write half of that book in November. I just know that's not plausible for me, especially being my first ever um, novel that I'm writing. So my goal for NaNoWriMo is to write the first act. That's my goal. I want to write the first act. And I don't know, I think that's doable. My first act is the beginning, right? So I'm, I'm following the three act rule for the book. So the beginning, middle and end. And so in the beginning, I'm aiming to do the hook, set up, inside the incident, fear-based decision and pinch point. Now, um, and I don't know, I think I can do it. I don't really know. I've never, you know, this is, I'm really using NaNoWriMo as a way to set a base for myself like knowing okay like how much can i realistically write in a day in a week in a month you know i want to have that that base number those base numbers in order for me to know moving forward the goals i can set for myself each month um and just knowing like when can i finish this you know now that i'm really starting i want to know when can i realistically plan to finish you were burning like a summer in my heart till you found another northern star following a lover right out of my ocean okay, so today is november 3rd third day of nanowrimo we are still going strong kind of strong i will say that yesterday the second i had a terrible migraine so i didn't write much but i want to go over 
what I did on the first day and a little bit of today because I'm super excited. We have a story. We have a story. We have words on the paper. We're getting somewhere. So let me talk a little bit about how my first day of Nano went. Um, I wrote 673 words, which is a great, amazing, but I want to preface this by saying that 400 or so words of that was pretext. So there I was, I sat down to write this beautiful story and the paper was blank and my mind was just as blank as the paper. I like, I, I was like, I don't know what to do. How do I start a story? This is so hard. Me and my brain is that I can see, like I knew exactly how I wanted to start the story. I could literally see the scene in my head, like play by play, but it just was not coming out. Like it was not traveling from my head to my fingers to the paper you know what i mean so what i ended up doing is i did like just pretext which is just a summary of like what i needed to happen what i knew was going to happen i'm super happy super pumped for the way this story has started and the way i see it going so so i highly recommend doing pretext if you like are stuck and the paper's blank and your mind's blank and you're like i don't know where to go from there or like where, where's the right um i probably i feel like once i get deep in the story it'll probably be easier to like just pick it up and go but since i can clearly see a lot of the scenes in my head i think writing the pretext beforehand and having that as like a reference will be really helpful for me i'm super hungry right now so i'm gonna go limp into the kitchen and make some breakfast um, and then when I come back, I'll show you how I'm actually organizing my Nano month. Okay, so I am using ClickUp to organize my Nano month and just see my goals and hopefully hit all my goals. Um, I looked into doing Notion, didn't really like it. I use Airtable for work, so didn't want to use that. And I just like the interface of ClickUp. So what I want to show you is that this is exactly how, this is exactly how my Nano how my real one is set up but i'm using let me go back i am using the blacklist as an example because i'm currently binging it and i love it so this is the overview of what my dashboard looks like we have the first act which is my goal to finish the first act with a nano um, and we have a broken down beginning hook setup inside the incident and so on and then over here we have our task list which is what i want to really show you so we're going to go to spaces and here we have the one the first we have five tasks for five acts right so this is the hook red turns himself in and only speaks to liz and then we have a subtask under it which is the chapter and for the and then if you look at it there's the chapter overview so you have red turns himself in he makes an immunity deal and the task force is formed so I'm using this to know like, okay, first I need a hook. What is my hook? Great, I have that. Now for the chapter, what do I want to include in this chapter? And I have the overview of that. So I can really keep myself from putting stuff in that doesn't work um, and just making sure that I hit all the points that I want to hit. So I think this is going to be really good. Then for the setup, I don't think I made, this is just an example, so I don't have the chapter set up for each one but this is basically what it looks like and i'm really excited for it and if we go back to my dashboard um so we have here and i have a quick, quick overview of my tasks that i was just in and then if we come down here okay and if we come down here you can see the word tracking um i decided to do it here instead of like a google sheet because i want to keep it all together and just having it in too many places i don't want that so that's how i want to track my daily progress but down here we have chapter number overview zero draft second draft so i don't know if i'm going to do this with each chapter or if i'm going to wait to the end of it but i basically want to see how many words i'm um, like what's the overview of chapter one red turns himself in quick synopsis of what it is like what happens in that chapter um and then the zero draft count let's say it's going to be 2,000 words and then when i move into the second draft i want to see you know how the word count went up down or stayed the same but yeah that's how i'm currently organizing my nano 
month and it's been really working for me. I mean, it's only day three, so we'll see. Hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All I really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this a probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. One, too many, I'm going. Too crazy, and I got Hi. Okay. okay, so today is Monday, November 6th, and I'm closing out this first week nano vlog. Um, only wrote for three days. You know so and i just kind of want to talk about my experience for my first week of nano and writing the first draft of the first ever novel that i'm ever gonna write um first of all i my lip is a little busted it's not really busted i like was walking with my crutch and it has like a suction bottom like the bottom of the crutch is suction um but it doesn't suction if the floor is wet and if the floor is wet and it doesn't suction then you will fall okay so my lip just like hit my my tooth so my lip hit my tooth and now it's a little swollen but i'm fine i just feel like my body whenever i have like the slightest inconvenience or like bump it's like it takes it to the extreme you know like the way i fell i don't feel like my ankle should have broke but it did it shattered into pieces so that's just my life and how my body is but just ignore this so for nano so at the total so i only wrote for three days but i will say that i did end up the total word count now i think let me update this because it might be a little updated i did write a little bit today okay the total word count it's eighteen thousand and sixty eight words which i'm happy with this is the first chapter i only i have i took three days to write the first chapter so i have the first chapter done um i'm so i love it let me say that i love it um i can tell that like rereading it i i'm saying everything that i want to say but just not the way i want to say it you know what i mean like I, I can see that there's like some imagery, some description missing, the the sentence structure is not where I want it to be, but for the most part, the story is there and it hits on all the points of who the main character is, what's her wants, what's her fears, her desires, and really shows her characterization and it really introduces the magic of this world a little bit and I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited and I love it. But that being said, it did take me three days to write almost 2,000 words and that was only the first chapter. And my original goal for this month was to finish the first act, which is the hook, setup, inside the incident, fear-based decision, and pinpoint, which is not five chapters. Those are just the five plot points I need to hit on. Um, I don't think that's a realistic goal. Now that I've had a first week down, yeah, I don't think that's realistic. I think I can complete the hook, setup, and inciting incident. I think I can complete it up until the inciting incident. Um, if I do more than that, great. But for now, I want to get give myself a realistic goal and kind of see now that I've got over like the first page jitters, maybe now my word count can go up when i do my sprints um and maybe it'll just come flowing to me better does my lip look ridiculous i i cannot when people say oh i'm accident prone they don't they have nothing on me okay i do want to also say that i i did map out or like write the scene cards of the next two chapters so i have the next two chapters like the summary of what i want to happen all mapped out and i think that when i do my sprint 
um, today and tomorrow that it'll be easier for me because going in I already know okay this is the direction I want to take the story so maybe that will help my word count during my sprints but for the most part it was exciting fun scary um, I'm just really excited to see how far I can take the story this month and like really push myself to hopefully like write every day at least get a couple sentences down um, and hopefully I can make my my goal but yeah this is the end of this vlog today is Monday so I'm going to end it here and start a new one because it's the second week of NaNo and yeah I'll see you in the next one bye